Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to contact InDrive support in InDrive. <laughs> the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your InDrive account, which of course I have done right here. So let's say you have created your account and you want to contact the support. But right here, I have not created an account yet, but I can still reach out to the support or the customer support system from here. So launch in the browser of your choice and locate the search bar. In the search bar for browser, type in drive.com and it's going to take you right in here. Okay. So over here we have the services. If you click on the services, you're going to see all of the services. And if you move your cursor to about us, you're going to see this option that says contact. So go ahead and click on contact. It says our contacts were always here for you. Please share your feedback or report a problem. You have this contact us button. Click on that button. And here you have a form that you need to fill out. So enter the subject matter of your complaint or whatever feedback that you have. Select your country. Of course, once you're done, enter your name and enter your phone number. Enter your email. And after that, go ahead and use this box to express yourself. Just pour out your mind let them know what exactly they want what exactly you want them to do for you so leave a comment in there and you can even use this plus i can for you to upload files if you want to upload any file and once you're done just go ahead and punch the submit button right there so click on this submit button and that's going to be it so remember that you can also visit the privacy policy to learn how in drive collect use and share your personal information so that you can be sure that your data the personal data that you are entering over here is safe and secure in drive is that particular about your security so enter the subject matter your country use this um, drop down menu to select a wide variety and your name and phone number email comments and don't forget to punch the submit button once you are done so that's pretty much the process you can go over the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you begin to go i hope this tutorial marvelously helps your search